Hi everyone, Warwick Mary here, the Get More Guy and Master MC. Just wanted to give you a couple of ideas on how to get someone off stage. I've got to tell you, as an MC, it's the worst thing for me. Having to actually physically get someone off stage or cut someone off, it's embarrassing for me, the event organizer, the speaker. So there's a few things you can do to stop it from happening. Now, if you are someone who is speaking from stage, you might want to consider the opposite side of what I'm saying so that you can give a better performance and get better engagement from your for your audience. The best way to get someone off stage is to make sure that before they go on stage, they know they have to get off. What I mean by this is, I like to brief the speakers before they go on stage and find out how they want to be told to get off or at least let them know what processes and systems that we have in place. And so during that conversation, I'll say, how many, how many minute warning do you want? Or you know, if we, we sometimes will have a video fold back. By that is when you're on stage, you can look down and you'll see a couple of monitors, one which will show you what's on the screen. Another might have a great big timer, which typically will go red and flash and say, get off. So that might be one way, depending on your event. Sometimes you just have hand up, hold up, sorry, hand held cards that might have the 10, the five, the two uh, and time. Uh, I've been known at certain events to just hold up a hand, five minutes, two minutes and then get off. But typically what I'll say to them is, you know, this is the timings. This is how we're going to let you know. Uh, if you see me making eye contact with you or if you see me coming on stage, that's time for you to wrap it up. And unfortunately, some people do tend to, to go on. The high risk audience, uh, high risk speakers are typically politicians. They can be pretty bad. Sometimes they, they do go on. Academics, they get so wrapped up in what they're talking about that they forget that they only have that short period of time. Uh, and I had weddings and awards events where you've got someone who's might have had a couple of beverages and they're giving the speech and they think they're funny or they think they're showing their love and they're just going on. That, uh, that can be a challenge. So uh, it's, it's good to make sure that the, the guidelines have set. So for an award ceremony, as an example, when I'm announcing the awards that are being presented, I'll let people know that you know due to time constrictions, we will not be having any acceptance speeches during this process so that they know in advance that they don't get to give a speech because some people, when they're off the cuff, can go on. Anyway, that's just a couple of ideas on how to get people off stage if you need to. Uh, Again, if you're running an event, make sure your, your MC is up to scratch and you've briefed them on how you want people to get off and how long the speakers have. Thanks very much for tuning in. I'm Warwick Mary, the Get More Guy. See you on stage.